National Spinach Day was yesterday, and of course, we found a way to celebrate this delicious and super nutritious leafy green in our kitchen. Our friend and home chef, Jen Fiore, stopped by to show us not only one, but three delicious recipes that you can make with spinach. Check this out. Spinach, not just for sailing men named Popeye, it's also for us. And what do we have here in the kitchen today, Jen Fiore? It's not just for salads anymore. Today we're going to do some spinach balls, and we have a lot of different, this has cooled down nice, I'm just making sure we don't burn our little fingers. I've sauteed this fresh spinach. This recipe, actually, I usually do it with um, frozen spinach, so really? anybody okay. can do this at home if they don't have fresh spinach. So if you're men named Cliff, you can actually try this for anyone for anyone, anyone. Right? <laughs> you, um, or anyone talk to us about what we're making today I know we have mm -hmm. two items that we want to show people again gluten-free mm -hmm. we're gonna do these spinach balls they're right over there oh, okay. they are so delicious easy to make I think they're very easy especially if you're using that frozen spinach and I've made my version of spanakopita a Greek dish with feta cheese and fresh spinach and my pastry so in here, we're going to do the spinach sauteed is fresh, frozen is microwaved, okay. but this way, it, I have it up on, the, on my website, very easy to do. So I'm going to put in sharp cheddar cheese, a, a cup of that, okay? okay? Some parsley, black pepper, and salt. Be a little generous with the spice on this one. And you're doing these basically to taste? Um, no, actually, or, or, so I have, I do have a quarter, yeah, is, uh, I have them all measured out, a quarter a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and of course, I, I have a note on my recipe, if you want less garlic, well, go ahead. But why would you? Is my, <laughs> no. Why would you? I don't Love know, garlic. I'm just kidding. Many people, so that's a flexible thing because I do like it served with garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. much garlic do you want? I want it all. So. I, 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 thank you. I you want all, all the garlic, thank <laughs> you very too. much. And then I'll have a Tic Tac after. <laughs> <laughs> or stand very far away from everything. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. This, is, more. this is two thirds cup. Now, I have uh, made this uh, gluten free flour even finer. Two thirds cup of um, flour. Now, here's where we're going to get started, people. Okay, so yes, I love olive oil too. It's good for your skin. So add it in there. It's a tablespoon of olive oil to this mixture. Then you're going to do your three eggs. Okay. Now, people laugh at me, and I don't know why. I want you to shake this and shake it in here six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you want it hotter, shake more. But it's just six <laughs> shakes. Who can really truly measure Tabasco sauce in measurements? It comes out in a shake. Okay, that's the shakes. Now, you're gonna form these into bowls. You're gonna put them in a 350 oven for at least 18 minutes. If you see it starting to bubble up or look brown, perfect, okay? Just like that's the sweet spot, bubble and brown. And then that's it. And then they're ready to serve. And you can serve oh. them, like I said, with garlic aioli. How easy. That yeah, is yeah. it. What would you usually serve this with? Or is it kind of its own thing, more like oh. an appetizer? Appetizer. Or? This sure. is an appetizer, I think. Well, or just one of my family it's members. Snack. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, spinach has been around, obviously, for ages. Yes. How versatile is this? So this, okay, I mean, so how many recipes can you make? I use spinach. I have the giant container from one of the big, big stores, mm -hmm. and I go through two of those a week. I add spinach to everything. She so, how, spinach see, this is how the balls come, and we'll taste them. But I want to tell you the ease of spinach, okay? Use spinach as much as you can. Fantastic in so many nutrients that it's well beyond, go beyond the taste, if you will. Sure. If you have this ball, it's a very small hint of the spinach. It's very predominant in the spices that we've used and the, the cheddar cheese. The spanakopita, the same goes for that. We're having that flakiness of the, of the crust. I even made you a shake. Yes, we don't no salad here. We have a shake. This is a full meal of spinach. Yes, because I want you to see you can use the spinach in anything beyond a salad. And that shake has vanilla flavor and peanut butter and gigantic handfuls of spinach. And it is delicious. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting actually thirsty too. Oh, I get to try see. This. Yes. yes. So. <clears throat> Let's Cheers. try it all. Cheers. Cheers to <laughs> National <laughs> Spinach Day. Okay, you've got spinach in there. What else have you got in here? Peanut oh, butter, this is butter. Good. Peanut, peanut butter, butter yeah. and like almond milk. Almond milk was the milk I used. As a, that's the milk I prefer to use. In so how? Huh? Like what do you butter. think about that? Do you I like it? I, I think I, I'm I gonna think, have to pull out the blender. Yeah. yeah, I really do like it, and I like the peanut butter. That's uh -huh. one thing so, I haven't yeah. really put in my shakes, and I know spinach you're supposed to. And peanut or butter. Or almond Ooh, butter. Mm -hmm. You it's can use almond butter too.
Almond butter is a is another fan mm -hmm. favorite. I like that this is smooth. Some people probably prefer, you know, to have those little clumpy shakes and stuff, uh -huh. but I actually like that I could just drink this yes. and not have to chew after. So. You can put in that little shaker, mm -hmm. right? There you go. Shake no, it up like all day that. long. Mm -hmm. So you down this. Down it's it. kind of like starting dessert first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We probably went back. And now you have, a, let me move this a little closer for you, but you have that Spanakopita gen style, if you will. Okay. And then, which um, if you have any questions about what's in there, just a tad bit of garlic and scallion and an onion. Sure. Just a tad. Really right to dive in. Yeah. And that one we just made, right? That one I'll just stab. Go ahead, dunk. A little dab. As long as you don't double dip, dab, a, right, right? I never double dip outside of my house. <laughs> Right? This oh, she goes, good. She goes back for the other oh, half. Mm -hmm. 18 minutes. It took, you saw what it just took to compile that. And, and sauteing the fresh spinach took two minutes. Mm -hmm. If you do it in the microwave, that's two to three mm -hmm. minutes. I squeeze out the moisture. Altogether, prep is five minutes. If you have kids and you're trying to get them to eat vegetables. Bingo. Wow, what a way to do it. Because it's healthy and delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's really, this one is probably not an everyday one, but you can buy even though this is my pastry, you can buy gluten-free pastry and regular pastry, if you will, at the grocery store, and then you can compile this as, at, at ease. Yeah. Happy National Spinach Day. That was really good. So I ate half of one without the sauce. Still amazing. Right. But geez. With the sauce. That yep. was so good, too, with Very the good. sauce. Garlic I really like that. That's just a good uh, snack. Jen, you've been doing I this now, do getting, making sure you've got gluten-free recipes for everybody. Mm -hmm. Where can people go to get more info on this? Just head on to my website, jenfiori.com, uh, or on social media. I try to post there as often as I can, but I post up on a lot of the recipes that I show here, especially are up on my website. I know this one. You don't need the aioli, aioli with this one. No, you don't. So this one, again, feta cheese, scallions, onions, garlic, fresh spinach sauteed. Mmm. And you have these recipes available. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Be sure you like you try these people. Okay. <laughs> oh. Chef Jen, we appreciate you so much, as always. I feel very Thank healthy you. right now. I'm so and, happy. Uh, we just need to end the segment so I can keep eating all of this. We'll be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>